Good evening, gentlemen. We went over all the rules in the locker room. Let's touch gloves and have a good fight. Go ahead. Position to fire power shots. So Arturo could seize the style initiative if he stays. Up. You can't practice that. You can't put it on the stool. Means he see punches before they happen. He can get out of the way. Hard right hand shot by Gaddy lands flush. You saw Millette with a power shot earlier. A straight right hand and jab his way inside. He tends to get in there with footwork. Well, he had good enough athletic talent to beat, so he brings some credentials to the game. Oh, he's not going to no, keep no those punches. credentials as long as if he allowed Gaddy to hit him in the stomach. And one thing that's evident is that Gaddy is quicker with his punches. He's beating him to the punch. Well, that just seems to be out of the way at the right time. There's a copy box number that's startling and shows that in his fights against good good opponents, the last five fights, Arturo Gatti has been hit by 60% of his opponent's power punches. He's hard to miss at short range. Absorb some power by, you're going to box, box. Hard right hand by the left. Gatti's punching power. The money punch there is his big left hook. Let us got to understand if he's going to win this, it's not going to be trading power shots. Five got seconds, fellas. Gaddy, too quick with the right hand for Millette. Gaddy, of course, is a notorious bleeder. But he says he's decided that... The box numbers in round one. Gaddy, 25 out of 62. Millette, 14 out of 55. Most notably, Gaddy threw 32 jabs. Warning Millet not to hold and hit. Millet has found the wrong fight to fight tonight. And move out of the way and make Gotti start to go back and revert to his old habit. You could hear that Millet's father and trainer, Marvin Millet, was not happy between rounds. Basically saying, why didn't you go in and do what you said you were going to do? You move around and make him decide, look, I'm a fighter. That's what I am. Circling to his right, apparently to stay away from Millet's right hand. Right side, then the left. As those athletic moves I was telling you about the... Oh, oh, there's hands. a good short right hand by Millet. Yep. Always a little bit out of the way, like an athlete. Looks as though the left eye of Gaddy is beginning to puff. Gaddy's in charge, man. He's got the power punches in the body. Two rounds of body shots. Left jab. He's in control. And a left hook to the body sets up a big left hook upstairs there by Arturo Gatti. And the right uppercut lands flush. Teron Millet taking a lot of power shots here in the middle stages of round two. Another left hook to the body lands deep. And again, the uppercut follows, and Millet is in trouble as he backs up to the ropes. I think he didn't understand the power that Gatti had. Someone didn't tell him. Expected from Gaddy. He termination on Gaddy. But this is the kind of fight that Gaddy needs. Get up with him, letting him rest, come back. Five seconds, fellas. Three seconds. Millette is not seconds. fighting a smart fight at all. Two We're Felix Trinidad. Now Muller is starting to use his left jab. If he's using his left jab, that means he's thinking. Some left means he's fighting. Incidentally, the uh, Ring Magazine, Bible of the Sport, concurs with Larry Merchant on the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Oh, that uppercut by Gotti just missed. Good body, right hand to the body. Those are the kind of shots that take away your power if the fight goes beyond. One big difference in the two fighters, George. Gaddy remembers to go to the body frequently. Millet almost never goes to the body. Looking anywhere but Gaddy's head. On Thunder Gaddy, upstairs. Ooh. And he lands it with the right hand. The best stand. right hand of the fight. Sometimes your corner, your trainers just don't tell you the extent of a, the power a guy has. And I think that was left out with Mullet. 
They didn't tell him that Gotti can hurt you with one punch. The kind of fighter he was in his fights against Tracy Patterson. The first few punches of the first round, he hasn't recovered from. Ruckman is really looking good. And Gaddy gets target practice here as Jim Santa watches closely, and the round comes to a close, saving Millet for the moment. Showing patience and poise as a boxer. Still carrying thunder. Arturo Getty. Stay there. Three rounds to nothing, 30 to 26, Arturo Getty. Jim, in his second round, I thought it was close to a 10 8 round when Terrell Mallette was near the act, but he came back with a good left hook. Only one knockdown so far, so round three, 10 to 8. More big shots from Getty landing flush on Mallette. And the referee should be closing in on this is not going to happen again a couple of years ago. Probably the best Arturo Gatti has looked since the second of his two great fights with Ivan Robinson. Gatti's doing some good body punching here, too, so it's not like the fight is going to get out of his hands. Mullen's just going to get the worst of this as the min minutes go by. Determined fighter who is taking some wicked, wicked punishment. And he doesn't seem to have a plan B. Millette can bring to this at the moment that will change what's happening in the ring. He's, He's got to hold on. you got to hold on. That could be it. Five, six, seven. Matt, where are you? Well, he he's still knows he's in Madison Square Garden. Yep. But I don't think the referee knows where he is. Somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah, this is unnecessary at this point. And that will do it. Jim Santa stopping it on what amounts to the third knockdown. And as Harold Letterman pointed out, could easily have been ruled four knockdowns. And here's the first knockdown of Teron Millet here in round number four. Backs up with his left hand down. That means hit me with a right hand, please. And Arturo obliged him. Here's another look at that. There it goes. Got to tell your fighters, you back up, keep your hands up. That's left hooks, overhand rights combinations Gotti is looking like Ray Leonard <laughs> the winner by knockout victory the ultimate blood and guts warrior from Jersey City New Jersey former champion Arturo Thunder Gotti